talent. They had nine picks over the three days of the draft. Add in the trades that they made to pick up additional uh, talent for the Pacific Northwest. Of course, they went sixth overall with the big offensive tackle, Russell Okun. Bucky, start us off here with your take on the big fellow at the top of the list. I mean, when, you, when you're looking for a guy to replace Walter Jones, you have to be happy that you're finding the guy who may have been the premier left tackle in the draft. Russell Okun was an outstanding player, had a tremendous career at Oklahoma State, 47 career starts. He comes experienced and ready to step right into the starting lineup. Nice feet hands, quick, understands how to play the game up front from understanding twists and stunts and all of the instinctive things that you need for the business. And this is an outstanding gift for the Seattle Seahawks and it goes a long way to rebuilding that team in the Pacific Northwest. Well, how oh. about, oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about Earl Thomas real quick. We're talking about in the second pick that they had in the first round. Earl Thomas is an outstanding gift. Talking about a dynamic playmaking safety. This is a team that was devoid of playmakers on both sides of the ball. What a chance to get a guy in the back end that can make plays. This is a guy who, in talking to Coach Brown, Mac Brown, his coach in Texas, said he would play corner if he would come back for his senior, his senior year, his final season in Texas. They get a guy that can come down, play over slot receivers, line up over tight ends, blitz off the edge, and play in the deep middle. Allison, the playmaker for the Seahawks. Yeah, just I think two terrific picks right there at the top of the draft board for them at 6 and 14, Bucky. But they also had some other needs. I think they filled pretty well getting Golden Tate, a wide receiver. Give them, a, give them Gives them another playmaker. T.J. Hushmanzada. Not a super speedy guy, but a guy collects catches a lot of footballs. Dion Butler, they picked up for speed last year. We'll see if that translates this year. But I love Golden Tate, his ability to go get the football, and then what he does after the ball's in his hands, reverts and becomes the running back that he was in high school. Hard guy to bring down. And the second one is Anthony McCoy, a guy who slipped in the draft due to a failed drug test that emerged Near time for the draft itself, but Pete Carroll knows him well, having coached him at USC. He's a guy who averaged well over 20 yards a catch last year, and it's a guy that they think can develop into a good blocker and compliment John Carlson at the tight end position for Seattle. 